SheCodes is a website that hosts online courses in web development specifically for women. Now I took every single course that they offered on SheCodes. So I took the basics, then I took the plus, responsive, and then finally the react. So in this video, I want to log into my account and show you exactly how the class is structured. Then I want to go over some fundamental projects that I did in every single class. And then finally, I want to talk a little bit about how SheCodes has helped me now that I'm in a developer role since I transitioned into a computer science development role. Okay, so if we take a look here, these are the classes that I took. Now I started it when it was brand new. This was when it was first out there. They didn't even have, now they have like hundreds of thousands of students. This was when I think it was in only a couple thousand. So I really took a gamble on this site. So there was no affiliate program or anything, but now I actually have a discount code. So I have 20% off, I'll link it below. Um, so you can see all the, <laughs> how to use it and how to get the discount and everything. But when I took this, I did not get any discounts. So I took every single one um, and I did the three week, eight week, five week and eight weeks one. I did not do the 15 to 20 hours per week because I was working full time. So I did the longer length ones and I was very strategic on how I did the workshops. So I made sure that I started it on slow points of my life when it was kind of um, when you're working and you're not aggressively on a big project at work. So I did all my stuff on the weekends. So just to give you an idea, it is very doable if you have a full-time job. You just have to give up your Saturday and Sundays. It is not easy to get this done. So like it's gonna take you all weekend or you can spread out throughout the week. I was way better when I spread it out throughout the week, but this is what they look like. I did not do the add-ons. I might eventually do those though. So let's just take a look at the basics workshop to show you an idea of how it's structured. So once you get in, you have home schedule instructions. There's like a ton of stuff on the left-hand side. Your certificate, which you'll get once you finish the course. Now, each lesson that you take, so I, I guess this instructor one, I never, I guess it's new because I never took it. But if we go to just um, CSS selector, so let's just open this lesson. You have in every lesson on the left, it's like this really nice thing here. And then you can see which ones you've, you've actually completed. It looks like he's added a few since I've done my course, but essentially you watch this tutorial, which is really nice. So if we just play this, um, you'll see he usually has some code on the right hand side and then what it looks like on the website on the left, which is very nice because you can follow along. It's easy to see. I very much enjoyed it. But then there's also notes here. So see how there's all these notes. So I would copy and paste that into Notion when I was taking the course. And then you get this challenge which is really nice because it's like a, maybe like a 10 minute, 15 minute challenge. And then there's some things that you have to use, you know, make the H1 font weight thin. Um, and this is what it needs to look like. Like, so he gives you what you want it to look like. And then there's like a choose file. So you can literally upload your HTML file. Sometimes you use code sandbox in some of the harder classes. Um, and then finally, it, once you submit it, you don't even have to get it correct. This is the key. Sometimes I couldn't figure it out. So I just submitted like my attempt and you still get the solution video and then you can just go back and update it. That's a key thing. So if you go in here, then you get a nice solution video. He walks you through exactly how to do it. He's very friendly, very nice. Um, but that's the key is getting these solution videos. Not everybody has the solution videos. So you can see this is kind of the structure of it. Um, this is at least what the basics looks like. We can go in and look at some other harder ones. But essentially to give you the lay of the land, um, you're going to have, you know, your basics, your plus, your responsive and your react. Now you do get online tutoring help. Uh, like, so you can go into Slack and you'll be in like a she codes react week four. So they put a, a week for each one. And then you can go in here and other people will ask questions. Hey, how do I do this? And you have to add this question mark emoji before the question. And this helped me a lot in React. I never asked a single question until the React session because it was just so much harder than the others. Um, so, so essentially you have all this help too, so you can ask people. Now he's gonna teach, wow, this is a big picture of me, but <laughs> he's gonna show you how to upload your code on GitHub, which is very important because it's industry standard. And then you're gonna host your website. So if you go in here, you can see all my code will be open source and you can go in pretty much anything and open up and see the code that I have. That's basically what GitHub does. 
Now you're gonna host everything on Netlify, so it's free to host. So all my stuff is still up here. So if you go to any of these project URLs, you'll see it like Tender Wilson Blah. This was the first project. It's a basic um, vanilla HTML JavaScript uh, project. So none of the links actually work. Now, once you get um, into the plus, this is when you actually can search like um, Portland and like it updates and it's a real API. The plus was very important to get that API knowledge. And then we also have, um, this one is the responsive one. So if you move, um, if you make this smaller or bigger, like when you condense it, it will actually shift. And it's very important for mobile um, website building. So making sure that everything looks good on your phone. And then finally, once you get into React, you start using Code Sandbox here, which is basically just to submit your assignments. But you make a dictionary app, which is pretty cool. So you can like search words and it uses a, a dictionary API. And then you have a responsive and React weather app, which is fancier because you can see it's automations. That's really the difference is like you can use these really cool automations as well. So you can enter Portland and it should change everything. See how the sun's kind of moving. It's, it's very cool. I very much liked all the classes. So if we go back to the classes here, now I can go into each one of them, but again, they're gonna be structured the exact same way. So let's just go into the plus because that's the second one you would take. And I personally think the plus was one of the harder classes. So if we go into here and we can go into um, the schedule and instructions and students and all the things so we can go week one. So you, you, I mentioned that you have those challenges and solutions, but you do have homework as well. So you could see at the end of week one, so you'll take all these little lectures, right? With the challenges, not everyone has a challenge, but then you have to submit homework and the homework is difficult. It's not like impossible, but it's definitely gonna take you some time. Like it will take a full day. So just make sure that you are prepared for that. So this one you had to submit as a design for what you wanted. But if we go to like a harder one, it's really like an update. Um, let me go down to a harder one here. Go to homework week five. Yeah. Week five out of eight. Um, your task include the city. What do you expect? Okay. And then you have to link the code sandbox. That's what I was mentioning here and you can update it. You still get a solution for the homework too, but it's not, it's, it's an actual homework assignment that you have to submit and then somebody has to approve it. So it's no, it's no joke. It is no joke for sure. So, uh, you'll see right here. So you take these four, what is this? Six, six little lessons and challenges. And then you have the homework at the end of the week. So there's a homework for everyone, but they build up to the project. So you're essentially chipping away at the project. And then finally you submit the project. Like for example, this weather app, I submit it and then I'm done, but you were chipping away at it along the way. So it's not like this big push to get the final project out of the way. Cause you just, you keep working on it and there's solution videos for the homework too. So they may be a little different than what you're building, but for this case, mine looks exactly the same as the way he was building it. So it was a really good way to check your solution. Okay. So the big question, was it worth it? Now that I have transitioned, out of more of an engineering role because my background's in mechanical engineering and more into a data science developer heavy software heavy role at intel i will tell you the best thing about this course is learning about apis i use apis almost daily and connecting to them and now i can connect to them using javascript now i knew i know python because i learned it later and i connect to apis using python but understanding how to connect to an api using um, JavaScript and understanding how to read JSON and some of those key things and how, you know, HTML works with CSS and just understanding how the internet works helps astronomically, especially when I'm talking to somebody who's more of a front end developer. I'm like, okay, we can speak the same language and I can mock something up really quick. It also helps with web scraping, which is another thing that I've been doing a lot where I will pull information off a website. Now you have to know HTML and CSS in order to web scrape things, which you also have to have Python, but it just makes learning future things easier because you have that base fundamental knowledge of APIs and then how the internet works. Now my job, we're actually using what is called Angular instead of React. Although I did learn React 
the core fundamental concepts are the same. So I would say like as applicable as these classes are, this was a great investment of my money. I think I spent around like $1,600, $1,700 to take all four courses and I have zero regrets because I learned so much and it helped me transition into more of a development role. Now I hope this gives you a better idea of what web development is and what kind of projects you would be working on when you take these courses, but I will link below my discount so you can click that so you're better off than I was when I was starting the classes. You can even go back to my previous videos when I first started posting about she codes because they're really old and you can see I started it back in like 2020 I believe so you can kind of dig through those I also updated um, on YouTube when I did projects and stuff I did a whole thing on it so I will link that down below and kind of up here otherwise I will see you guys next time